Hello and welcome to another edition of the Divine Mercy Holy Hour Novena for our nation. We are Dave and Joan Maroney, your Mother of Mercy messengers. And you can find us at divinemercyforamerica.org. Click the membership tab, get connected. Today is December 5th, the fifth day of these monthly novenas that we host here on Zoom each day, the first nine days of each month. And we are blessed uh, we're, before we go to the Holy Hour, which will begin in about 15 minutes, to welcome uh, Barb Ernster. She is a communications director of the World Apostolate of Fatima. She's based in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, the World Apostolate of Fatima, I think, used to be known as Blue Army. Is that right, Barb? Correct. Great. We still yeah. are. <laughs> okay. The Blue Army, the Great Army, Our Lady's Army. And um, we've gotten to know Barb because uh, she is also a member of the Coalition of Eucharistic Marian Apostolates that we belong to, short for SEMA. And um, we're joined, uh, all of us have working to help spread devotion to Our Lady, to, to Jesus, the Eucharist. And Barb, well, I'm just going to turn it over to you. We're going to start with a quick prayer, and then we're going to talk a little bit about the Fatima message, the call to reparation, how to repair uh, our relationships and uh, with our Lord, with our Lady, for all the brokenness, the sinfulness in the world, but also to help us in the same way it will help us repair the brokenness of our own hearts and our loved ones and, and all the you know, the, the brokenness that exists in the world today. So welcome, Barb. And Thank you. Let's do a quick prayer. Yes, let's do. And we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, we at this moment, Jesus, we ponder your tender and loving heart, the most tender heart in the world. And we ponder your love for us. We thank you for loving us so much that you gave your life for us in a most cruel and painful way, being crucified on a cross. And Father in heaven, look at your son on the cross and open your heart, pour your mercy out upon our world. And we turn our hearts now to the mother of Jesus, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, Barb, take it away. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Nice to meet all of you. I'm glad to be here with you. Uh, because this is like a TED Talk, I will go very fast. <laughs> There's a lot to delve into with the Fatima message. It can go very, very deep, as deep as you want it to go, because it is the gospel message of Jesus Christ. There's nothing in it that strays from that and the church found it so important and and so unprecedented that john paul ii wanted it to be wanted an organization that would spread this message he felt it was incumbent on the church to spread it and so he chose our organization back in 2005 and so we are a public association of the faithful and we consider ourselves the carriers of the authentic message of fatima you know there's a lot of different uh conspiracies and things that go on out there. We want people to know and love the heart of Mary. Our lady came at a time when the world was, um, for the first time in human history, could destroy itself with its own weapons. And it's also a very particular time in the salvation history that it's 200 years, almost exactly 200 years after St. Louis de Montfort had died. And we know that St. Louis de Montfort came and taught a very special um, consecration, a preparation of consecration to Jesus through Mary. And he spread that all over France. His writings got lost for over 100 years, which he knew would happen. And I say when um, Our Lady came to Fatima in 1917, St. Louis de Montfort must have been jumping for joy that Our Lady herself was going to come and, and carry on his message. And of course, we know that she came and she said, Our Lord, God wants to establish in the world devotion to my immaculate heart. And so that's what this whole message is about, that she wants to form us in her own heart, which takes us to Jesus and the divine mercy, so that it's, they call it the peace plan from heaven. It's a pathway to holiness. And whenever uh, Lucia was interviewed about this, she said the most important, the most essential message of Fatima is a call to become holy, to, be, to sanctify every day our daily duty. And that was the essential message when Our Lady came and said, 
On May 13th, are you willing to offer yourselves to God and accept and bear with submission all that he brings to your day for the, in, for the conversion of sinners and reparation for sin? Lucia said that was the essential part of the Fatter message, that we're supposed to wake up every day, make a morning offering, offering up our day, making everything that happens holy, to bear patiently, offer up all of the sufferings and trials and unite them with the cross of Christ. And then she said the rosary and the wearing of the brown scapular are the spiritual aids to help us fulfill that first message, that essential message. And so those are the three things that Lucia herself formulated into a pledge that our organization has carried forward since 1947. It's called the Blue Army Pledge. And of course, the first Saturday devotions were added later. But I want to start with the very beginning of Fatima, which was in 1916. Lucia said the most important part of the Fatima message is at the beginning, at the Kabeko, and that's where the angel of peace appeared to them. Many people don't know about the angel of peace apparitions. He appeared to them in the spring, summer, and fall of 1916. And he came to teach the children a very specific form of worship and adoration of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. And um, Lucia had said when her uh, priest, her nephew priest had written to her in 1971 after, you know, during all the conflict of Vatican II, and he was in charge of a number of the priests in his uh, seminary, and he, he was confused as to how to help them. And she said, what I recommend to you above all else is that you get close to the tabernacle and pray. In this, you will find the light the strength and the grace that you need to sustain yourself and that you can then pass on to others. I find that Lucia's words throughout all of her time after the apparitions are so, they speak to us today and she does help provide this pathway to having this devotion to Jesus through Mary. And she said, never think as lost the time you spend in prayer there and God will communicate to you all that he requires of you. Our Lord wants us to have a personal and loving relationship with him, and that is why he chose to remain with us in the tabernacle, and he sends us his mother to help bring us to Jesus in the Eucharist, and so the Eucharist is very much a part of the Fatima message. When the angel first appeared in 1916, um, many people in Fatima, he said he was the angel of peace, and he identified himself also as the guardian angel of Portugal. Well, the Portuguese have always identified St. Michael the Archangel as their guardian angel. And so they, many believe it was actually St. Michael who came and appeared to these three children. And in the first two apparitions, he taught them several prayers of adoration and reparation, the pardon prayer, and the second one called the angel prayer. And these prayers are not easy to remember, but Lucia said they were so deeply engraved in their minds they could never forget them. She personally prayed these prayers five times a day throughout her entire life, and she noted that everything about our faith is contained in them. Now I'll read the prayers to you. You probably are familiar with them. The first one is called the pardon prayer. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I beg pardon for those who do not believe do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. And the other prayer is called the angel's prayer. This one is what uh, he taught the children during the third apparition when he, he was bowing down low before Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. It's most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I adore you profoundly, and I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles of the world, in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifference with which he is offended. And through the infinite, infinite merits of his most sacred heart and the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg of you the conversion of poor sinners. This is a hard prayer to re remember, but I force myself to remember it so that when I'm, when the, when the consecration is happening at the mass, I immediately start to pray this prayer. And you'll notice it's very similar to the divine mercy prayer. I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. And so this is a prayer that's um, very pleasing to our Lord. Lucia said, in these prayers, you have a profession of faith, an act of love, an appeal for God's mercy, intercession for those who do not know or refuse to know God, worship and adoration of the Holy Trinity, 
reparation for sins against Jesus and the Holy Eucharist, and we see that so prominent in our world today, recourse to the sacred and the immaculate hearts, and an ardent appeal for the conversion of sinners. And so the angel had told the children, pray, pray very much. The hearts of Jesus and Mary have designs of mercy on you. Offer prayers and sacrifices constantly to the Lord and make of everything a sacrifice and offer it to God in reparation for the sins by which he is offended and for the conversion of sinners. You will thus bring down peace upon your nation. So the angel himself is setting the stage for the same message that Our Lady would bring later, you know, telling them, pray, especially in honor of the, the Our Lady of the Rosary, for only she can help you. You know, pray the rosary every day in order to obtain peace for your nation, peace for the world. This is such a, um, I think as we're moving forward and we're hearing so many of the rumblings of war between Russia and Ukraine and that the slightest little thing can spark a third world war, you know, it's very important that we take these messages from heaven seriously, that he is calling us to be his instruments on earth, that we're the ones who are engaged in the faith. You're all engaged in the divine mercy. The divine mercy message came right after the Fatima messages. This is, he's speaking to all of us. And Our Lady wants us to be formed by her holy heart so that we can become her army. We call it a spiritual army. So we still use the tagline, Our Lady's Blue Army, that was formed to fight the Red Army of Communism. Communism is still very much entrenched in our institutions, in our education institution, our media, in the ideologies that are being passed on to our children. We know that she will triumph, but she wants to use all of us. And St. Louis de Montfort, when he was teaching and trying to form people in this message of consecration to Jesus through Mary, getting to know the heart of Mary, he said the same thing. He said in the latter times, he's speaking, I believe, about our times, God is going to raise up a special army of people specially devoted to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And he's going to use these people to drive out all idolatry, schismatics, heretics, impious, all of the things that are going on. He's going to use us. And I always say when I'm speaking to people, we may think that we're just little people. Our little prayers don't matter. But St. Louis de Montfort said that the people that God was going to use are not the elites. They're the ones that are not esteemed in the world. Well, doesn't that, isn't that all of us in between Washington and Hollywood? We're not esteemed, but God is using us. And we're like a river of grace and mercy underneath all that's going on at the surface, which of course distracts us. We want to pay, you know, when Joan, you were saying during Advent, we're supposed to remain quiet. We're supposed to seek the Lord. And of course, be anticipating his second coming. And, and so it's really hard to shut out all that distraction, but don't ever think that God is not using you. I mean, the, it's so important that we, when we're placing ourselves at the foot of the cross and we're giving our hearts over to Jesus, Jesus and Mary, we're doing these prayers, we're going to mass, we're, we're um, seeking to, to live right by him. Those are the people he can use because he can't use people that are not in a state of grace. He can't use people that are not attached to, the, to him as the tree or the branches. If we're not attached, we're just going to be chopped off and thrown in the fire. He can't bear fruit. And so the, the whole point of the Fatima message is to be praying and offering sacrifice, <clears throat> excuse me, in reparation and for conversion of sinners. And wasn't it St. Faustina, I think our Lord told her, his favorite prayer is the prayer of conversion of sinners. And that's throughout the whole Fatima message, because we're not going to have peace in the world if we don't have converted people, if we don't have people that have amended their hearts. And of course, we all have children and grandchildren and friends and family that are away from the church. And so again, he's using us to bring down that grace and mercy that's going to flow through us and through Mary. Uh, I think uh, Dennis Gerard, who's part of our SEMA group, he always says it's this river of grace that comes down and, 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 and flows into the ocean of mercy that is Jesus. And so um, the angel of peace was the very first to talk to the children about this. And of course, it's so interesting. I like to talk about what happened. I know we only have a few more minutes, but um, he brought the body and blood of Jesus to the three children in the third apparition. He held a host up and it was suspended in air with a, ch a chalice underneath and the host was dropping uh, blood into the chalice. And that's when he bowed down low 
placed his forehead on the ground and the children imitated him. And he prayed that angel prayer, you know, calling down the, the, the you know, grace and mercy through the body and blood and soul and divinity of Jesus Christ. And the children were so, um, whenever the angel appeared to them, it was so powerful of an experience that they almost couldn't walk or talk afterwards. Um, Lucia said it left them, especially when he brought the Eucharist. She called it, um, she said that he left, it was like an annihilation in the divine presence, which exhausted them even physically. That was their first exposure to being truly in the presence of, of Jesus. And she said the angel always left them unable to talk. Um, they didn't have strength to do anything. And sometimes it took them weeks to recover. But when Mary appeared to them, she said it was completely different. It was more gentle. It left them filled with peace and an expansive joy that did not prevent them from speaking. So that's the difference between the pure spirit of the angel who was possibly St. Michael the Archangel. I firmly believe it was because I think he's really with us during this time. And I, I think that in the last you know, decades or so, all of a sudden the churches again are praying the St. Michael prayer. So I really believe that Mary and the St. Michael are here. So that the, the the Eucharist is very much a part of the Fatima message. Um, Francisco, as you know, he became a contemplative soul. He was so empowered by this. He, he was so drawn to this experience of the Holy Eucharist. And he even had to ask Jacinta and, and Lucia. He says, I know that the angel gave Lucia the host, but what was it that he gave to us? And of course, him and Jacinta received the chalice. They had not yet received their first Holy Communion. So even the angel follows the instructions of the church. And Jacinta said, um, she said, well, that was Holy Communion too. And he said, I felt that God was in me, but I didn't know how. So that was his very first experience. And Francisco went on to take seriously the angel's directive to take and eat the body and blood of Jesus Christ and console your God, you know, to make reparation for the sins that offend him and console your God. Whenever I read that passage, it's almost like a very strong demand to these little children. And Francisco went on to spend much of his remaining life, which is only a couple of years, sitting in front of the tabernacle. He was able to obtain the answer to many, many prayers. He became kind of a mystic where he was able to come back and tell people, your prayer is going to be answered. And it was answered. So he he's a, a good one to turn to as a little helper in heaven for all the little needs that you have. Because I just imagine he's now consoling God in, in, with the beatific vision in front of him. And I know that it's four o'clock now and it, I didn't get in everything I would like to talk about, but I hope I at least laid a little bit of groundwork about the importance of the Eucharist and adoration in the Fatima message. Wow, wonderful. Boy, what a concise. Uh, <laughs> I have six more pages. <laughs> synopsis of, of Fatima, beautiful, beautiful. Well, we just have to have you back, Barb, I, yeah. because I think it's good just to keep reminding us and, um, you know, every month, I, it, hopefully we'll be able to get you back in January and we'll talk a little bit more also about the uh, the holy hours, the night of love and all that. But we can do that. We can do that later because we've got time to do it. And we'll talk a little bit more after uh, after the holy hour. We open it up for a few minutes for final comments and sure. Q&A. Um, one thing I wanted to mention when you said about Francisco sitting there in front of the tabernacle I had a vision of him sitting there in front of the tabernacle and then another vision of the kids, uh, you know, young children today sitting in front of TVs. It used to be television, but now more and more it's in front of computers, you know, addicted to their games. And if we could just, you know, get them before the tabernacle and get them to spend a little bit of time there. Uh, how the Lord would console them and how they will console the Lord. And maybe that's something we can all try to work on over the holidays of grab the kids, you know, your grandkids, take them in just for a few minutes, get them to light a candle, do something like that um, mm -hmm. and, in honor and seek the intercession of, is it blessed Francisco or did or are they canonized? Saint, Saint, Saint Francisco, Saint Francisco yeah. now. Okay. Awesome. Well, let's go ahead and Let's go to Jesus. I know that we're not there, but virtually we are. And at any time we can adore the Lord who is in every tabernacle throughout the world. Um, and we will do this uh, via the, the airwaves with the gift of the internet. It is, that is a good thing of it. But the most important thing is to uh, for our hearts to be connected with the Lord. And that's why 
we will begin with the spiritual communion to spiritually unite. As most of you know that join us on a regular basis. We are making the novenas that the Lord and Our Lady told St. Faustina to make on behalf of their country. And uh, so in lieu of sacramental communion, we make this spiritual communion, and which is just so appropriate to do, especially because we are here visiting with him virtually. This is the Perpetual Adoration Chapel in Vilnius, Lithuania. And behind, it's a little blurry, but that is the original painting of the Divine Mercy, painted under the direction of Maria Faustina, Sister Maria Faustina, now Saint Faustina. The painting was commissioned by her spiritual director, who is Blessed Father Michael Sopochko. He commissioned an artist by the name of Eugene Kazmierowski uh, to paint the image. She visited the artist 10 or 12 times until it was finally finished. Good enough to represent the Lord as best the artist could per her instructions, but he couldn't see the Lord himself like she did. And, um, but many, many graces, many, many miracles. Dave, you want to explain the, uh, the little medals on the side? Yes, it, we've been watching those little columns of, of medals uh, grow. Uh, and those are prayers answered, uh, the people that come come to the shrine there in Vilnius. It's a very, very small chapel that the bishop has now set up with this 24-7 live feed, uh, the uh, Divine Mercy Shrine there in, in Vilnius. And it's a brand new day. It's December 6th, uh, What uh, coming up on five minutes after midnight so a brand new day and jesus we just you know jesus we just reflect uh and we say that uh, we are sorry it's so easy to go to mass and just just kind of file in and and sit in the pew and and uh we know that we need to uh to reach in our hearts and uh to have more devotion to you in the tabernacle, uh, the living son of the living God there in the tabernacle and here with us exposed in the monstrance and to offer, to be mindful about uh, the, the need to offer reparation in these times. It's so, it's so easy not to have that in our mind. It is for me. And uh, so I need to do a a much much better job of of uh, especially in these times all the news we hear all the blasphemes against our lord in his in his heart so i pledge at this moment jesus to have uh, be more mindful and to offer that re reparation because we know that your heart is the most tender heart and is so wounded when people reject you and are ugly to you and to do, each other do things against you and to each other as joan mentioned so we love you jesus and now <clears throat> we pray the act of spiritual communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above, above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. And if you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, I just I invite you to look into, uh, you know, if, if you're a Sunday Mass uh, attender, look into daily Mass, you know, find out when your parish has the, the daily Masses and make an effort and, and go uh, to daily Mass to, uh, to help offer reparation. So now we play, pray the joyful mysteries. This is Monday, 
And so we'll pray the joyful mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary. Joan, do you want to just go over the uh, list of volunteers at this time? Just to... Sure, we have Barb will be leading us, and then we have uh, Marie, the first decade, and then Fawn, Dottie, Manuel, and Angie. And Joan and I will do the opening prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints and the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. And for our Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in faith, hope, and charity, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is, is now, now, and ever, ever shall be, world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Okay, Barb. I'll, I'm going to read shorter versions of Lucia's meditations from the Rosary with Sister Lucia. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. In this sacred passage, God reveals to us that the incarnation of the eternal word took place and gave us knowledge of the mystery of the Holy Trinity, that is, one God in three distinct persons. The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. The angel said to Mary that she was full of grace. If Mary was not immaculate and all holy, the angel could not tell her that she was full of grace because she would have she would have in her the stain of sin. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us save from us. the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second joyful mystery, the visitation of Mary to Elizabeth. In this second decade, we recall the visit of Our Lady to her cousin, Elizabeth. When we left the first mystery, the angel was speaking with Mary, and then he added, And behold, your kinswoman, Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. <clears throat> and this is the sixth month of her who was called barren. For God, nothing is impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, let it be done unto me according to your word. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Third joyful mystery, the birth of Jesus Christ. In the third decade, we recall the birth of Jesus, God made man. This is a masterpiece of love. God descends from heaven to the earth to save his poor creatures. Yes, he came from heaven. He became man, embracing the humble existence of his creation. He who is eternal God as the Father, equal to the Father in power, wisdom and love, born as a man, but is eternal as God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, my Jesus forgive us our sins, sins, save us from the from fires, fires of hell, hell. leave hell. all souls to heaven especially those who most need of thy mercy. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation of Jesus in the temple. In the fourth mm -hmm. decade of the rosary, we recall the presentation of Jesus in the temple. St. Luke describes this passage of the life of Christ as follows. And at the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb of Mary. And when the time came for their purification, according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male shall be consecrated to the Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. <clears throat> the fifth joyful mystery, the finding of Jesus in the temple. In the fifth decade, we recall the visit of Jesus Christ to the temple in Jerusalem, where he will take part in the prayer assembly with the people of God. So St. Luke describes this step in the life of the Lord. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to custom. And when the feast was ended, as they were returning, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. His parents did not know it, but supposing him to be in the company, they went a day's journey, and they sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaintances, and when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem seeking him. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning, and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile. Show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O most holy mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. For the intentions of our Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever Christ. shall be world without end. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend, defend us, in, us battle. in battle. Be, Be our, our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God, God rebuke, rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do, do thou, thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast, cast into, into hell Satan, Satan and, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls, Amen. Now we pray prayer to St. Joseph, given to us by Pope Leo the Thirteenth, same pontiff that gave us the St. Michael prayer. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our tribulation, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also through that charity which bounds you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus. We humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood and with your power and aid. With your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven, assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection, so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Thank you, Barb, for those beautiful meditations and for everybody that assisted with the prayer, praying of the Most Holy Rosary. A great spiritual weapon. So 
And I want to pray the litany of the saints. So we make this novena calling upon the church triumphant. May them people just like us and submitted their wills to the Lord, to Our Lady, allowing them to work great things through them. So we ask them to intercede, every single one of them, and especially our guardian angels for us as we pray this litany of the saints. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy Lord. on us. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Mother of God. Pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Pray for us. Saint Michael. Pray for us. Saint Gabriel. Pray for us. Saint Raphael. Pray for us. All you holy angels and archangels. Pray for us. Saint John the Baptist. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. All you holy patriarchs and prophets. Pray for us. Saint Peter. Pray for us. Saint Paul. Pray for us. Saint Andrew. Pray for us. Saint James. Pray for us. Saint John. Pray for us. Saint Thomas. Pray for us. Saint James. Pray for us. Saint Philip. Pray for us. Saint Bartholomew. Pray for us. Saint Matthew. Pray for us. Saint Simon. Pray for us. Saint Jude. Pray for us. Saint Matthias. Pray for us. Saint Barnabas. Pray for us. Saint Luke. Pray for us. Saint Mark. Pray for us. All you holy apostles and evangelists. Pray for us. All you holy disciples of the Lord. Pray for us. All you holy innocents. Pray for us. Saint Stephen. Pray for us. Saint Lawrence. Pray for us. Saint Vincent. Pray for us. Saints Fabian and Sebastian. Pray for us. Saints John and Paul. Pray for us. Saints Cosmos and Damien. Pray for us. All you holy martyrs. Pray for us. Saint Sylvester. Pray for us. Saint Gregory. Pray for us. Saint Ambrose. Pray for us. Saint Augustine. Pray for us. Saint Jerome. Pray for us. Saint Martin. Pray for us. Saint Nicholas. Pray for us. All you holy bishops and confessors. Pray for us. All you holy doctors. Pray for us. Saint Anthony. Pray for us. Saint Benedict. Pray for us. Saint Bernard. Pray for us. Saint Dominic. Pray for us. Saint Francis. Pray for us. Saint Pio. Pray for us. All you holy priests and Levites. Pray for us. All you holy monks and hermits. Pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene. Pray for us. Saint Agatha. Pray for us. Saint Lucy. Pray for us. Saint Agnes. Pray for us. Saint Cecilia. Pray for us. Saint Anastasia. Pray for us. Saint Catherine. Pray for us. Saint Claire. Pray for us. Saint Elizabeth. Pray for us. Saint Faustina. Pray for us. All you holy virgins and widows. Pray for us. All you holy saints of God. Pray for us. Lord, be merciful. Lord, save your people. From all evil. 
Lord, save your people. From all sin. Lord, save your people. From your wrath. Lord, save your people. From a sudden and unprovided death. Lord, save your people. From the snares of the devil. Lord, save your people. From anger, hatred, and all ill will. Lord, save your people. From the spirit of uncleanness. Lord, save your people. From lightning and tempest. Lord, save your people. From the scourge of earthquake. Lord, save your people. From plague, famine, and war. Lord, save your people. From everlasting death. Lord, save your people. By the mystery of your holy incarnation. Lord, save your people. By your coming. Lord, save your people. By your birth. Lord, save your people. By your baptism and holy fasting. Lord, save your people. By your cross and passion. Lord, save your people. By your death and burial. Lord, save your people. By your holy resurrection. Lord, save your people. By your wonderful ascension. Lord, save your people. By the coming of the Holy Spirit. Lord, save your people. On the day of judgment. Lord, save your people. Be merciful to us sinners. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will spare us. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will pardon us. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to bring us to true penance. Lord, hear our prayer. Guide and protect your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Preserve in holy religion the Pope and all those in holy orders. Lord, hear our prayer. Humble the enemies of holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Give peace and unity to the whole Christian people. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring back to the unity of the church all those who are straying and bring all unbelievers to the light of the gospel. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen and preserve us in your holy service. Lord, hear our prayer. Raise our minds to desire the things of heaven. Lord, hear our prayer. Reward all our benefactors with eternal blessings. Lord, hear our prayer. Deliver our souls from eternal damnation and the souls of our brethren, relatives, and benefactors. Lord, hear our prayer. Give and preserve the fruits of the earth. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant eternal rest to all the faithful departed. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to hear and heed us, Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, hear our prayer. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, for those within my own home and within my family and within me. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Dottie. Amen. Now we pray the chaplet of divine mercy. The fifth day. Today, bring to me the souls of those who have separated themselves from the church. Most merciful Jesus, goodness itself, you do not refuse light to those who seek it of you. 
receive into the abode of your most compassionate heart the souls of those who have separated themselves from your church. Draw them by your light into the unity of the church and do not let them escape from the abode of your most compassionate heart but bring it about that they too come to glorify the generosity of your mercy. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon the souls of those who have separated themselves from your son's church, who have squandered your blessings and misused your graces by obstinately persisting in their errors. Do not look upon their errors but upon the love of your own son and upon his bitter passion, which he underwent for their sake, since they too are enclosed in his most compassionate heart. Bring it about that they also may glorify your great mercy for endless ages. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as the fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he arose again from the dead and ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the forgiveness of sins, com communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, 
I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Effie, are you there? You need to unmute yourself, please. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal, Eternal God, God, in whom mercy, mercy is endless and, and the, the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, Louise. And Louise, do you have the prayer? Oh, Immaculate Mother, Queen of our country, open our hearts, our home, and our land to the coming of Jesus, your divine Son. With him reign over us, O oh, Heavenly Lady, so pure and so bright with the radiance of God's light shining in and about you. Be our leader against the power of evil, set upon wrestling the world of souls, redeemed at such a great cost by the sufferings of your son and of yourself, in union with him from that same savior who loves us with infinite charity. We gather about you, O oh chaste and holy mother, virgin immaculate, patroness of our beloved land, determined to fight under your banner of holy purity against the wickedness that would make all of the world an abyss of evil without God and without your loving maternal care. We consecrate our hearts, our homes, our land to your most pure heart. O oh, great queen, that the kingdom of your son, our redeemer and our God may be firmly established in us. We ask no special sign of you, sweet mother, for we believe in your great love for us. And we place in you our entire confidence. We promise to honor you by faith, love, and the purity of our lives according to your desire. Reign over us then, O Virgin Immaculate, with your son, Jesus Christ. May his divine heart and your most chaste heart be ever enthroned and glorified among us. Use us, your children of America, as your instruments in bringing peace among men and nations. Work your miracles of grace in us so that we may be a glory to the blessed Trinity who created, redeemed, and sacrificed us. <laughs> May your valiant spouse, St. Joseph, 
with the holy angels and saints. Assist you and us in renewing the face of the earth. Then when our work is over, come, Holy Immaculate Mother, and as our victorious queen, lead us to eternal kingdom where your son reigns forever as king. Amen. 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 And that was the prayer from the diary of Sister Mary Ephraim of Our Lady of America. Our Lady of America, pray, pray for, for us. us. And now I'd like to read from the book Night of Love, an hour by hour companion for the Fatima night vigil. And once we leave the holy hour, Barb can tell us a little bit about this book. And this is written from the, the point of view uh, of Jesus. I don't think it's a, a quote of uh, from any saint. I think it's just written from the point of view of Jesus uh, as, as we are about to leave this holy hour. You will soon leave me now. What promises can you make me? Let them be sincere ones, humble ones, full of love and desire to please me. Tell, tell me how carefully you will avoid every occasion of sin. Promise me to be kind to the poor, loving for my sake to friends, forgiving to your enemies, and charitable to all, not in word alone in actions, but in your very thought. When you have little love for your neighbor, whom you see, you are forgetting me, who am hidden from you. Love all my saints. Seek the help of your holy guardian angel. Love above all my own dear glorious mother. She is your mother. Oh, love her. Speak to her often and she will bring you to me. And for her sake, I will love and bless you more each day. Return soon to me again, but come with your heart empty of the world, for I have many more favors to give, more than you can know of. Bring your heart so that I may fill it with many gifts of my love. My peace be with you. Oh, yes, Jesus, we promise. We promise. And we thank you again for your loving and tender heart. We thank you for your gift of peace. Amen. Amen. Well, Agnes Marie, we're going to put you to work since you're back here with us today, if you don't mind. No problem. Tantum ergo sacramentum, venere mucernui, et antiquum documentum, nova citaritui, preste fide supplementum, to whom defectui genitori genitoque lausit jubilatio salus honor virtus quoque sit et benedictio Procedenti abutroque, amparsi 
Well, we are all just basking in the glow, I think. It's beautiful. Yes, thank you all. Thank you all for being here and Barb especially. So now uh, I'll give you a few moments. Uh, Barb, if there's anything you want, I know you have six more pages. <laughs> we're going to, I think we're just going to have to do a separate interview. Let's just get the whole thing, but still have you come to do little, little bites uh, for us. But do, do you want to talk just briefly about the, the, the holy hours of reparation and, and maybe yes. talk just a little bit? Somebody asked what the book was. It's called Night of Love. And it's uh, available at our bookstore shop, Fatima.com. It's a book that uh, we reprinted from 19, the 1960s. People would gather in the um, Covidiria at Fatima the night before the 13th of the month events. And they would come on foot from all over Portugal and they would they would go to sleep and, and stay in the cova and wait till the morning when there would be mass and all the events of the 13th. So eventually they started putting out uh, the adoration, the Holy Eucharist, so that people would spend an hour or the whole night in prayer before the Eucharistic Lord. And so from that came about what um, developed into all night vigils of reparation on first Friday, first Saturdays that the World Apostle of Fatima took forward to many cities across the country. And then um, the first one was held in 1969 at St. John the Baptist Church down by Penn Station. And I looked it up and I thought, gosh, they're still doing them. I, I couldn't believe it. So I flew to New York and I walked from Penn Station over to the church and I experienced it. And it was really a powerful event that you spent all night in adoration following the um, program that's in this book. And so our founder, John Haffert, talks about it. And I, uh, <laughs> I took a picture of the church when I was there. And so that's the, the very first church that started it down at, in Manhattan. And uh, we're trying to bring these back to the world. We want to do them, especially for the success of the National Eucharistic Reparation. And so we printed the book and now we're trying to get the program together and share it with the world. But you can also use this book yourself in an adoration holy hour. There's some beautiful meditations for all of the rosaries, um, beautiful prayers, all the songs, the song Tantum Ergo that was just sung. And so it's a, it's a good book even to take to adoration on your own or to take to your parish. And if they'd like to do an all night vigil or even a shortened vigil, like on Friday, first Fridays at the shrine in New Jersey, the Shrine of Our Lady of Fatima, uh, we do a, a starting at 8 p.m. and then going till midnight. Uh, so it's a night vigil of reparation on First Friday, but we go into the first Saturday and we have mass. So then you're getting both your first Friday and first Saturday devotion done. So it's a, again, I encourage everybody to get in front of the Eucharist as often as you can. As Sister Lucia said, from there, you will find light and truth and clarity and peace and everything you need from the Lord to address everything going on in your lives. So thank you for having me. Amen. Oh my gosh, you did a fabulous job. And and the book, like Barb said, uh, it's it's just chock full of beautiful things. The promises of the sacred heart, um, the promises of devotion, the first Saturdays, first Fridays, the Fatima prayers. It's got a, a really nice stations of the cross. Um, so uh, we also have it on our website. We put the link there uh, as another place to get it. So to help this help support us too. So beautiful book and hopefully more and more parishes. We, we've got to do this. We have to get before the Lord. I think it's interesting how you said in 1917, uh, when the world really this decade, this, I mean, this century uh, where Pope Leo the 13th, heard you know this conversation be between the lord and and satan that would have 100 years to rule and we have seen the destruction and in fatima also saying that the final battle will be to be between uh for the family and for marriage and you know as a lot of you know we shared it in our fast friday video that went out on friday um, this thing that we just the senate just passed here in our country the quote uh, respect marriage law, respect for marriage law, it can have devastating, devastating impact on our country and on the whole world if 
if we don't defeat this, there is a, we have a small window of opportunity. It's going to take divine intervention um, to, to stop this happening. As some of you might know, you know, it passed the Senate. It went through the House. It went to the Senate. Now it has to go back to the set, uh, to the House. And then it goes to, to the White House to be signed. And we've got to pull out the stops. And we've, we've got to ask you know, for help. And I just was flipping through the book earlier and uh, opened it up to the page. It said, on the state of marriages today, Sister Lucia wrote, the final battle between the Lord and the kingdom of Satan. This is the final battle. This is the final battle. will be about marriage and the family. Mm -hmm. So we know that this is the final times. The Holy Father, Pope John Paul II, you know, impressed upon us. This is the final battle between the good and the evil. But she says, do not be afraid because whoever works for the sanctity of marriage and the family will always be fought against and opposed in every way because this is the decisive issue. Nevertheless, Our Lady has already crushed his head. And I was happy to read this today because I, I heard from some people that are much in it, that were really fighting the battle, that they almost said, just, it's over, forget it. I mean, we're, we are going to go through really, really a lot of chaos, a lot of suffering. And so this gave me some, some hope. <laughs> I know we've got to go through suffering and we already are, but we remember that, that she has crushed the head of Satan, but like Barb so beautifully said, you know, um, it's not because of the elite. It's because of the humble and uh, the prayers of the humble and the little ones. And that includes, includes all of us. And so we want to keep up with it and uh, continue to do what we're doing and, and even get better at what we're doing. Let me just show uh, the question in the chat was uh, the website. This is uh, Blue Army. Dot com. If you're listening, if you're watching on YouTube and can't see the chat, it's blue. It's just very simple. Bluearmy.com. So this is the World Apostolate, Apostolate of Fatima website. And uh, again, Barb has just done such a wonderful job. All right, I'm going to open it up to our uh, gallery here everyone that's part of our team. And if anybody has any questions about anything that Barb shared with us today, anything about the Fatima message. Um, okay, there's Patricia, yes. Hi, I have a question. We're gonna do it at our parish this Thursday. Yay. A woman brought forth that from 12 to one, that on the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, to have one hour of adoration, you also have to do the Psalm 51, I believe, um, and that you will, many, many graces will go out to the world, but it has to be on December the 8th. You have to be in adoration from 12 to 1. My understanding, Barb, you want to answer? I, I, I thought the 12 to 1 was in the afternoon. Is that I, yes. Yes. yes okay. Is. But are you doing a whole a night of prayer or no? No, not a oh. night. Just okay. one hour. Okay. Yeah, I just got an email about that. I had not heard of it, but um, somebody did send me an email about it. I'm trying to find it right now, but it's called the Hour of Grace. Yeah. Yes. That's it. Okay. <laughs> the Hour of Grace. I bet somebody out there could put. Uh, the, a link, but yeah, we need to take it. Oh, that's awesome. We need to remember that and take advantage of this hour of grace, praying for our lady, for all the graces are kind of, I mean, you know, heaven in the past has done some really wild things, right? Um, God has like, you know, parted the, you know, the waters and we've won battles. Where we, the Ponto. Oh, I mean, yeah. go on and on and on, you know? And so we have to have that faith and that expectation and then trusting God, you know, and then leave it in his hands. Thanks. For we have asked as many people as possible to come to this one hour mm -hmm. of grace this Thursday. And we're having adoration from 12 to one. 
And I really don't know the significance of Psalm 51. Uh, they're going to be handing it out and everybody has to read it. And I, and someone else correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. I don't, it's great to be in adoration. We always want to be before the blessed sacrament, but if you can't, I think it's like wherever you are, you turn off your television and you're quiet because not everybody can, Okay. So, you know, if you're in your hospital yeah. room, if you're at, you can take your lunch hour, you know, sit in your car, you know, and do it is from what I understand. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Is that right, Celeste? Also yeah, the um, the Psalm fifty one. Just to answer the question, it's uh, David's uh, prayer of uh, repentance. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. repentance. Yeah, and I think it's uh, our it's our Lady under the title of Rosa Mystica. Oh, but, I have heard of this. Yes. 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 Okay. That's. The, yep. I've been doing it for years. Mm. And yeah, Joan, you're correct. You don't have, I mean, it, the best place is in front of the Blessed Sacrament. But if the, if your parish doesn't have that, then anywhere you are, at home or in your car or wherever, as long as, and you're supposed to pray it prostrate on the ground. Oh, I yeah. thought it was your arms, you. out, your arms out. Arms, yeah, yeah, I guess so. It's your arms <laughs> out. Yeah. I guess you lay down that way. Phone is. <laughs> on. Got a question? Is is well, I was wondering if twelve to one is that the specific time? Is it Central Eastern? Or, you know, or, or just whatever your time? Our whatever adoration, your time. Our adoration is from yeah. eight p.m. to midnight, and then they're because they're having masses all day for you know That's because it is a holy day. Um, so. Can you just go before the tabernacle? I just found a e uh, website that I posted there again, uh, Anima Ayutami, and it gives a whole description of the December 8th hour of grace. And it just gives you the whole, how to do it, the request, the prayers. The Psalm is there as well, Psalm 51. It's very, very, very thorough. But okay, does it say, you. without getting off the page, because I can't see all, do you, do you have to do it between? I know it's the hour of grace is 12 to 1, but you're right on December 8th. I mean, that's when we see. have mass. Uh, the rest of the hour of grace, it, it's, it's just quite descriptive there, Joan. It gives you the whole history okay. there as well. Do we start it from 12 to 1? Uh, at home and church must pray away from all distractions. Yeah. yeah if if, if, if um, Dave wants to bring it up there, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. We'll do that. I just posted the website there. Thank you. We see it. Yeah. Thank now you. Oh, go ahead. I'm getting it right here. Oh, good. Uh, Luisa Picareta. I see. I guess. Yeah. So if That's it's it. a full, it says a full hour of grace, either at home or in a church. So I guess if you go to mass. Well, you know, that would be considered Jesus and then say the prayer. Intention. If we're in mass, certainly then we can. Do and it. then maybe at the end of mass, you could, we stay and we do, do the, do the yeah. we don't do whole, whole, you do the prayer. Okay. And I also want to mention that uh, if it's between 12 and 1, Mother Mary understands, Jesus understands the mass is the highest form of prayer we can make. So if your church has mass at that time, then you have to attend mass and then after mass we can say the prayer because uh, yeah mother mary understands she knows the mass is the highest form of and that is where uh, uh, christ is going to nourish us and fortify us to go out there and fight these battles so there is nothing that is bigger than the mass so she understands amen thank you i Judith. think you're right Judith. Well, well said, said. yeah mm -hmm. great Awesome. And, and if there is mass going on, there is no adoration at that time. Right. Yeah. Well, you don't have to do it during adoration either, but, but it's great. I mean, I think it's great if you are doing it and they're having a holy hour at that time yes, and you can do mass some other time, you know, the point is just to be united in prayer and really uh, imploring. And this is on, on the eighth, I guess this is a worldwide thing, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But for us here in the United States, this is the feast day of our patroness, right? Mm -hmm. So yes. even more 
efficacious or powerful for us to be saying this prayer on her feast day, which, you know, as our patroness praying, praying, praying for our country for, for miraculous intercession. And as well, uh, uh, Dennis and Angelina from our end here in Canada, the MDM, are, and I'm sure you might be aware of that, Joan and Dave, they're doing the crowning of the, the um, Our Lady of the Cape. Oh, I didn't know oh, that. Man. Yes, if you go on their website, they're doing the crowning. of. So um, Father de Sousa, uh, for, any, for any of the Canadians uh, out there, Father de Sousa has actually recreated a statue of Our Lady of the Cape and has Our Lady of Canada. She's the Queen of Canada. And he's actually made as the, you can crown her. That's so awesome. they're actually having a crowning of Our Lady of the Cape on December 8th. If you go on the website, mm -hmm. the MDM, Marian Devotional Movement website, all the, the times and the uh, itinerary is there. Fabulous. Thank you for sharing that. Well, okay, you guys, team. I want to, uh, before we let Barb go, if anybody, you know, has anything specific, especially for her, for what she taught us today, shared with us today, um, anything about the Fatima message in particular, Blue Army, Night of Love. Barbara, was, I'd, like to, I'd like to thank you for, for your talk today. Most of what you talked about today, I already knew most of it because I belong to the Blue Army. Good. And I also belong to the um, Fatima of America. American East Fatima, right. Yeah. So it was, it was a lot. It was nice that you did that. I thank you for your talk. It, thank you. Thank you for having me. Herb, I just was wondering, because I have the Rosary Rally prayer too, where it's very definitely separated the, uh, I'm, asking, I'm asking this for a reason, the pardon prayer and the angel prayer. So one of our prayer uh, warriors on one of our Zoom groups somehow has gotten the two, like has gotten a prayer card with the two together. So he says, when he says the angel prayer, he says the two together. So are they actually, in essence, two my understanding they are actually two separate prayers because the angel appear, appeared appeared prostate with the pardon prayer oh my god and then there's the angel prayer so could you clarify that for me so i can clarify it well yeah they were two separate prayers yep. the first pardon prayer was taught during the first apparition in the spring okay and then the angel prayer was taught during the third apparition during the time when he was giving them holy communion okay Thank you for that. So I mean, I, I like to pray the the pardon prayer just when I'm walking up to communion, but I like to pray the angel prayer during the consecration, in my heart. Okay, thank you. Yeah. But is there a problem to to say them like just like one right after the other, like she's no, saying? That's, that's fine. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. I have a question. I have a question. Uh, uh, the last, uh, yeah, the last apparition, Our Lady of Fatima appeared as Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Mm -hmm. What is the significance of that? Lucy always felt it It meant that we were supposed to wear the brown scapular. The brown scapular was part of the message. Oh, and that was okay. kind of confirmed mm -hmm. to her even by the Pope when he said the brown scapular is the sign of your consecration yes. to the Immaculate yeah. Heart. So there's okay. such a great history between Elijah and the, the hermits of Mount Carmel that Li that lived that were their, his descendants and that there's even a story that when mary and joseph were coming back from egypt they yes. passed through mount carmel and they they met oh. these hermits oh on their way back to nazareth it's such a touching story and and the scapular of course was extended to all of us the carmelite yeah. scapular and lucy oh. said the scapular and the rosary are inseparable oh okay and oh saint joseph was there too he blessed uh the people yes holding baby Jesus. Okay. Mm -hmm. right, and I do you. believe because we're in the final battle, St. Joseph yes. came to stand with Mary, to be with her during this time of our fight. So they oh. appeared as the Holy family and St. Joseph <laughs> is very important for us in these times as well. Yes. And times. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Very good. Anybody else? Uh, I just want to make a, a um uh, a comment as well regarding the message uh, concerning the final times as well. I really encourage all of us to pray for the family because you know the family is where the priests come from. Mm -hmm. It's where the consecrated men and women come from. So if the family is not united, we are not going to have holy priests. In fact, we are not going to be having priests if families are scattered. 
because it's when the family is united and in prayer that we have this uh, holy priest that come out of these families. So if all of us, if each person can intercede for their entire family and for families for the world, we can be the Moses that, you know, when Moses was on the mountain, Joshua and, and, and the rest of the army, they were with, winning the battle. So if you can raise your hands and pray every, on a daily basis, and you raise your hands as a form of a, a reparation or as a form of mortification and pray sincerely for our families, I think uh, uh, our families will be saved from the evil one, but we need to be those Moses that we make it a point that we are gonna intercede for our families and for the rest of the family. Because mind you, if one person in each family is praying, is praying sincerely every single day, that entire family will be saved because of the prayers of that one person. But if, yeah, if nobody is really praying or we are very lukewarm, and then our families are really, you know, in danger. And like uh, uh, Dave said as well, oh, um, regarding the mass, I don't know if he, he's the one who said that, I'm sorry, but uh, it's, I encourage everyone, if you can attend mass every day. Um, when we pray the Our Father, we say, give us this day our daily bread. That is the bread we are talking about. We pray that prayer, but we don't show up to consume that body and blood of Christ, the bread, which has, we has been, it has been a, a, a turn into the body and blood of Christ. So it's like we pray this prayer, but we are not part of, we say, Lord, give us today our daily bread. So it's when we go to church, we receive that daily bread, which fortifies us. It's like food for the journey. And when we go out, he sends us at the end of mass and say, go in peace. It's like, go and proclaim the message, the message of salvation, go and, so I really encourage all of us, if you can, you know, it's a sacrifice. And uh, Christ said, we have to carry the crosses. You know, it's, it's a sacrifice that we make. It's not comfortable sometimes. Sometimes it's raining, sometimes it's cold, but with God, everything is possible. Thank you. Thank you, Judith. Wow. Well, J Judith and uh, y'all, I don't know if you know, but uh, the sisters in Poland, when they pray the chaplet, they do it with their arms. Right, right, right. right. You know, because so, it's a sign of sacrifice. Yes. Right. We never. I'm going to try that one. Yes. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> it's good for you. Good for and your... that, that's also opening up your your heart to the Lord to let him come into you. You're inviting him to come into your heart. That's beautiful. Thank I you. Yes. I learned that year, many years ago, we had a life in the spirit seminar and that's how I learned that one with from that Good. there. Weezy, did you have something? Yeah. Um, the uh, brown scapular, every time I put it around my neck, it gets all tied up in my other metals. So I tied it like this, it's like a bracelet, but I always have it on me. Is that bad? <laughs> it's got to oh. be around my neck, correct? Well, it's the preferred way to wear it around your shoulders. It's Mary's mantle protecting you. I, I have a very long one and it has metals on it. So it kind of always ends up sinking way down almost to my belly, you know. <laughs> you put the metals on it? It has a little metal on it. It's the very strong woolen one. Okay. Um, and that can help. I know those those smaller ones that are um they're kind of a little bit cheaper. They they can tend to get more. This one lays really yeah. nice because it's a little heavier. So I do that. I put it on, I have metals on mine. Yeah. Oh, you you have a nice big one. Yeah, it's uh, about an inch, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Mine's a, uh, Our Lady Mount Carmel. Yeah. Yeah. This they... is Our Lady Mount Carmel, but it's made of wool and it, it, with the little metal on it, it tends to weigh it down. So it. I never thought of that. Yeah. But the metal. Yeah, it's supposed easy. to be around your shoulder like Mary's mantle. So. Okay. And then Super you're covered early. on the front and the back too is what I like it. You know, she's like, got your back. <laughs> I need a long one. I need long rope. <laughs> I I have a really long one as well. 
and I have this, the Medal of Our Lady of America in the back. So you... this one actually can hook on my bra and it keeps her from falling down <laughs> and it keeps it in place. Oh, I like that. The medals on it, it works. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Good sharing. <laughs> Us women have a secret compartment that we can talk yeah. about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go on. All uh, right. Anybody Fun else? And we're going to have those. We got one minute left, guys. All right, girls. Yeah, okay. I just want to okay. I just want to ask everybody for, for their prayers. I the doctor gave me the strongest prescription he can give me for the prednisone and I'm going to make a dry run to Walgreens. I'm getting nothing nowhere with Walgreens right now. They haven't done anything about getting my prescription ready for me. And Walgreens has been a mess the last mm -hmm. few years. Yeah. It's and everybody's quitting Walgreens. All the people that used to work, that worked for many years for Walgreens are quitting and they're having to get new people are they so, uh getting, did you what about getting you some oxygen he can't he told me today he can't do it because of my oxygen level that it is it's not low enough and it seems like every time i go to the doctor my oxygen level seems to go up for some reason and and my specialist said the um, pulmonologist had said that happens to a lot of people. We know they need oxygen, but when they come in, their oxygen levels seem to be too high for the insurance to pay for it. Mm. He says that it's hold your breath and hold my breath. <laughs> I was on my way home. I was just on. The, I was just a block away from the building I live in, and had a real bad attack and almost fell off my walker. Oh. I had to sit down and I, 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 it was like, it was taking me an hour to get my, my mm. inhaler out of my, out of my house on my walker. Sorry, Lauren. Yeah. But <laughs> I, you know what? The good Lord keeps giving me a new day. Even though I have to wear glasses, I can see. <laughs> Two eyes to be able to see every morning. Those are the first gifts he gives me each day Amen. and I look at that because even though I'm not feeling good inside and Jesus didn't pick the good people he picked those who had did wrong well you're doing Peter. good now you're yes. doing good now but I'm doing the best I can and that's it and I'm going to go to Walgreens and try to get my prescription okay all right because uh, right. the doctor even said the Walgreens that's right next to his office he said, I recommend you go to one of the others yeah. because they're really slow there. Pray to St. Francisco. He comes through with some of those little prayers. So oh, okay. there you go. ask there him you to go. take care of this and have it. I, I always can. challenge him. I tell him, Will you help that one lady who asked for your help with reconciling her the father and the son? And he said he would ask God when he got to heaven. And that day, the day he died, was the day her prayer got answered. So I challenge him and say, you're in heaven. I know you can handle this one. That's good, Barb. Wow. Right. <laughs> right. With confidence. Pray this with confidence. Great for us. Okay. Let's continue to um, lift up Peter. He's so out of, oh. he has no energy. Yeah. I know that feeling, no energy, because that's the way I was feeling earlier before oh. I came on. Yeah, because I was late getting on, and and that's the way I just my whole body was so weak that slow was my my oxygen level dropped drastically. I just and, encourage everybody. Everybody needs prayer. Everybody's got struggles. Right, yeah, me remember. So you got that every right. day when you make your morning offering, make your morning offering like Barb reminded us, and you're praying your rosary. Just lift up, lift up the uh, our prayer group, the Divine Mercy for America family. And uh, that will help everybody. I have one more thing before. We okay, because we got to go. I want to let everybody know. Every Tuesday night, every Wednesday morning, every Thursday morning, we at our catechism, our Bible study, 
and Legion of Mary, the whole group is lifted up. That's awesome. Because I lift them up all the time. And especially you, Dave and Joan, Aww. we really lift you up because you are the ones who run Divine Mercy for, for America. Thank you, think. Lauren. You're such a- Give them our love. Lauren. Give Thank them you. our love. Well, everybody, hey, Barb, I'll be in touch on those other things we were talking about soon, okay. soon, soon. Okay. All right. And um, y'all come back tomorrow. Kevin McCarthy's with us. Uh, you know, this is a time of Advent and, you know, getting to confession. He's going to talk about sins of omission. We all can always think about those things that we've done that's wrong. But I think we need a little bit of help. I do, you know, to think about those things we should have done that we didn't do or should be doing, we're not doing. And so it's time to revisit that. I can help you with that some if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Good. You're supposed to help me. All right, everybody. Wife. <laughs> we love you all. Hopefully he will he and I will both see you tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. God bless everybody. Good night, everybody. God bless America and your families. Good night. God bless everyone. Thank you.